Before we get underway, if you're new to the channel, we need to break this down for you so that you understand what's happening before we get into it. First things first, we have a 1,000 overall 8-foot Hulk in NBA 2K. And if you're wondering, what can a 1,000 overall player do? Well, they could do everything. I mean, just think about it. If you're 1,000 overall, you expect the player to be perfect. Hit it from anywhere on the court and don't get on anybody. And that's exactly what this dude can do. And we're going to simulate an entire season with him. Now he is an 8-foot point guard. And even though he can do everything on offense, we want this man to be unselfish. So we have to make sure he also drops dimes while getting every rebound and getting every point. So it's going to be interesting to see what his overall stats are going to be by the end of his rookie year. But hey, to get this underway, we first need to simulate 15 games into our season. We turned off all trades and everything like that so that we have nothing stopping us, nothing getting in our way. So first things first, we're going to simulate 15 games. Let's do it. 15 games into the season, and we are already the best team in the NBA. Starting off our season, 15-0, the Orlando Magic is blowing every other team out of the water. The games aren't even close. Nobody can hold a candle to what the Magic have done this season. Now, our Hulk is going crazy, but this is just the beginning. We're only 15 games in, and he's averaging... 31.4 points, 19.9 rebounds, and 10.2 assists per game with 1.8 steals and 2.8 blocks. And remember, we're only 15 games in. He hasn't even gone crazy yet. He's just warming up, getting his legs under him. But it's also important to note that this dude is leading the MVP race, leading the race for most improved player, and also leading the race for defensive player of the year. He was supposed to be a rookie, but something messed up in his like years played in the league, and he's still a rookie in our book. But hold up, hold up. We have our very first game against the Warriors. We're going to actually jump into this game and see how he plays, see what he does against the Warriors. Let's get it. This game was ridiculous. This is the greatest blowout in NBA history, and I know for a fact it's going to happen again. In the game against the Warriors, we won 195 to 57. And the Hulk, I mean, he had a, a minor little stat line here, nice and easy little stat line. This boy got 84 points, 10 rebounds, 13 assists, 3 steals, and 3 blocks while only missing 2 shots. Now, I can't control whether or not the AI misses because I'm not playing. Like, you know, the stats kind of change a little bit when I'm not playing. But for the most part, he should not miss too many shots throughout his entire career. And he did hit 13 three-pointers. He's out here almost setting the NBA single game record for threes against the Warriors. This was ridiculous, but we do have some more simulations to do. We're going to simulate until we hit the 34 game mark. And then after that, we're going to jump into another game. 34 games into the season with a record of 34 and 0, a perfect record. The Orlando Magic is leading all teams in the league. And now we're starting to see the Hulk go a little crazy. His stats have increased since the first simulation. He is now averaging 39.2 points a game, 20 rebounds, and 12 assists with two steals and two blocks. And guys, he doesn't even play the fourth quarter. So these stats really come in like the first three quarters of the game, and then he's done. But again, he is leading the league in the MVP race, the most improved player race, and the defensive player of the year race. That's three awards. Three awards right there. We're 34-0 right now, and we have our first game against the Miami Heat. Jimmy Butler, Tyler Hero, let's get it. In our simulation against the Miami Heat, we did something that only the Hulk can do. We scored 195 points as a team and beat them 195 to 69. I mean, they did a little better than the Warriors. They did a little better, but the Hulk had an off game. He only scored 62 points with eight rebounds and eight assists, but he did it in 34 minutes, hitting 10 three-pointers and spamming half-court and full-court shots. He did all of this in only 34 minutes. He sat out the fourth quarter. But hey, you know, the Hulk is just warming up. We're only halfway through just about, and the Hulk, uh, he hasn't really turned it up yet. But we're about to see. 
simulating 50 games into the season. Let's go. All right, so after he simulated 50 games into the season, you can see that we only lost one game. I don't know how we lost, but we lost to the Brooklyn Nets. I, again, I don't know how we lost because in that game, the Hulk scored 80 points. But you know what? 2K is going to 2K. Let 2K do a 2K deals. We're still the best team in the league with a 49-1 and record. And get this. Here are the averages. 40 points, 20 rebounds, 12.9 assists with two steals and almost three blocks a game. And once again, he's leading the league in the MVP race, Defensive Player of the Year race, and Most Improved Player race. He's leading the league in all of those races right there. So obviously, when you score 40 points, 20 boards, and almost 13 dimes a game, you're going to lead the league in just about every award that you could possibly do it in. We are not going to simulate our first game against the Boston Celtics and see what he does there. In our very first game against the Boston Celtics, we beat this team by an all-time record. 201 points to 47. We don't even play the fourth quarter once again, but we did score 71 points, 16 rebounds, and 15 assists with three steals and five blocks. And this game, we went perfect from three-point range. 13 for 13. They could not stop this dude. You know how crazy you gotta be to do this to a team, only dunk the ball four times, but you're eight feet tall. But now it's time for All-Star Weekend. Let's go. We are in the NBA three-point contest. Now, I wanted to do this one myself because I want you guys to see just how good a 1,000 overall Hulk is. We are not going to miss a single shot in the entire contest. We're gonna come here and clean the table, sweep the slate. We're going to dominate this competition against Kyrie Irving, Joe Inglis, James Harden, Bradley Beal, it does not matter. We're going to dominate and destroy everybody. But first up is Damian Lillard. Dame is starting off kind of cold, only making two shots and still missing. Okay, there's his third shot, but he's missing all of the money balls. I mean, in all honesty, it doesn't matter how well he does because even if he gets 29, I'm getting all 30. You know what I'm saying? Like, Dame can hit every money ball here, but it doesn't change the fact that he's not going to beat the Hulk. The Hulk is about to demonstrate what it means to have a 1,000 overall three. I don't even need to look. In all honesty, I don't, I don't need to look. I can do other stuff right now. I'm not going to miss. I, you see my releases. Extremely late, very late, slightly late. It doesn't matter. It could be enchilada, fish taco, I don't know, burrito. I'm going to make it every time. And look. Early, still hit it. So far, I'm 100%. That's a green. Don't need it. You know what I'm saying? Like, at this point, they might as well pack it up and go home because it is over. Excellent. I kind of want to hit more greens, though, if I can. That'd be kind of cool. Hit some greens. There we go. There's another one. Okay. But, hey, that's it. 28 already, and we're finishing it off right here. And if you noticed, I still have so much time on the clock. Still got 11.4 seconds. Didn't even need it. Didn't even need it. Kyrie did go perfect on that first rack, but now he's starting to cool down a little bit. Okay. Hey, he was kind of riding the Hulk's wave a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Biting off my plate, but now he's chilling. Only making one on the second rack, and let's see how he does on... Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, he's, he's struggling. The boy is struggling. I want him to hit, though. I want him to at least do better than Dame. There we go. 13. Keep it up, Kyrie. Final rack right here for Kyrie. He has 14 points, and he misses the first one. Misses the second one, misses the third one, misses the fourth one, and misses the fifth one, 2K. I feel like y'all, I know it's on Hall of Fame, but I feel like you're doing them a little dirty here. Like, come on. I'm watching this, and I'm dying inside, knowing that this, this three-point contest right now feels rigged. I mean, it is technically when you have a 1,000 overall player, but I'm just shocked that everyone else is doing this bad. You know what I'm saying? Like... Come on now, this ain't 2K. I mean, I'm not surprised, but at the same time, I am. Because this is kind of sad. He only has five points, make that six points, and he's supposed to be a sharpshooter. Like, come on. The contrast, the difference between skill is ridiculous when it comes to the Hulk and everybody else. James Harden starting off with zero points, my people. Zero points. Oh, there he goes. All right, that's one. And he's, 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 no, no. Okay, okay, there's two. But this is not, bruh, this is not good. Like, 
What are we sitting here watching this for? Final rack right here. Misses the first one. Misses the second one. M Yo, come on, James. Come on, James. Okay, that's just... Yeah, come on now, 2K. Doing them dirty. Okay, so we finished off with 34 points. Kyrie Irving is second, and nobody else even comes close. We got Damian Lillard starting off, but we're just going to skip up to where the Hulk goes. And we're starting off with a green, another green, another green. Not a green, but it's still going to go down. We don't need the greens, but we like the greens. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, honestly, I don't have to look at the screen. You guys get the point by now. I mean, you know by his stats and by how he's been playing that this dude is the greatest 2K player to ever live. He's not going to miss. He can hit full court shots. He can do everything. So yeah, we, we don't need to sit through this any longer. You get what I was trying to show you. You understand how this dude is built. And he's built different. And the Hulk is your three-point champion. Plain and simple. Not even close. It is now time for the NBA dunk contest, the final event before the All-Star game. And guys, this one was a little disappointing. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Our dunk rating doesn't actually change how well we do in this contest. And because of that, I didn't even play in it. I'm like, there's no point for me to play if my rating doesn't affect anything at all. Like the three-point contest, our 1,000 overall rating actually changes how well we do. But hey, you know what? That's not what's important here. What's important here is the fact that the Hulk got robbed in this dunk contest. For his very first dunk of the contest, this man jumps straight up, goes under both legs, 360 slam. I mean, first of all, this dunk is insanely hard to do, but he did it at eight feet tall, getting his butt to the rim. He only got a 47 on this dunk. But what's crazy is, right after me was Zion Williamson. Going reverse under the basket, nice dunk, pretty nice dunk. But he got a 40 overall on that dunk. Now, if you ask me, my dunk was much, much better. Definitely over seven points better, but 2K is gonna 2K. We're gonna get 2K, do what 2K does. But here's where it gets kind of crazy. John Morant goes off the bounce between his legs, which is a nice dunk, but the craziest thing is, he got a 37 for that. Honestly, that's a 40 flat. But 2K's gonna 2K. To end off the first round, we got John Collins. Now, John Collins' dunk was a generic off-the-bounce dunk. But 2K wanted to show him some love and gave him a 42. You ask me, I disagree. I bet you feel the same way. But, hey, at the end of the first round, we got the Hulk with a 47, John Collins with a 42, and Zion Williamson with a 40, followed by John Morant with his 37. To start off the second round, the Hulk tried to go in his bag a little bit. But it wasn't that nice because he's so tall. He went off the bounce, caught it with two hands, 360 slam. And, I mean, he may have felt like that was a nice dunk, but in all honesty, it really wasn't. And 2K, they made him pay for that. Gave him a 41. That could have been the dunk right there to change the course of the entire competition. Because after him was Zion Williamson. Off the bounce, jumps up, catches it between the legs, 360 slam. You got to give that man a 45. He earned it. When it comes to John Morant in the second round, this dude, this dude tried something different. It didn't look that nice. It really didn't look that nice. But 2K is out here with this rigged competition. I'm being honest with y'all. He got a 47 for that thing. A 47 for that. But now we're going off with John Collins. Final dunk. Fake behind the back. Looking kind of nice. Not going to lie. Gets a 43. So after that round, the Hulk is still in first place, but this is where it gets ridiculous. This is where I think the Hulk got wrong. For his final dunk, he goes up, windmill with one hand, finishes with the other hand, gets his head in the rim, my people. Head inside the rim. But he only gets a 40 flat. As Zion Williamson goes off, off the bounce, between the legs, and that's a dunk, a 37. I mean, come on now. But John Morant... The spectacular jaw goes off the bounce, windmill slam, and he gets a 45. A 45. John Collins finishes with a really nice dunk, but 2K never shows that dunk any love. And John Morant is the dunk contest champion by only one point. 
So when it comes to the All-Star game, the Hulk was a team captain, obviously. He selected Lillard, Butler, Anthony Davis, just to name a few. When you give our eight-foot point guard NBA All-Stars, all he's gonna do is go crazy. There's no way he's not gonna blow the other team out of the water. The final score was 223 to 70. But here we go. We're gonna simulate 55 games into the season and we're gonna see what's up with our record then. With a record of 54 and one, the NBA's best team, Orlando Magic, is being led by the Hulk, who is now averaging 41 points, 20 rebounds, and 12 assists, and not even playing in the fourth quarter, only playing three quarters. But we have a game against the Nets coming up, and we gotta get revenge. We've got to get revenge for them giving us our only loss of the season. In the game against the Brooklyn Nets, our man Hulk broke another NBA record. In this game, his team scored 212 points to 54. And the Hulk scores 89 points, 22 rebounds, and 14 assists. And again, he did not miss a single shot. It's time for us to hop out of the season. We've seen it all. We're gonna simulate to the end and get to the playoffs. With a record of 81 and one, and an average of 41 points, 21 rebounds, 13 assists, two steals, and 2.9 blocks. The Hulk wins three NBA awards in one season, which, again, is an all-time record. We're going to go ahead and jump into the NBA playoffs and see what he does here. In round one of the NBA playoffs, we see our 1,000 overall 8-foot Hulk going up against the Wizards. Now, this series was absolutely ridiculous. The Hulk averaged 50 points, 14 rebounds, and 13 assists a game. He did not play in a single fourth quarter. Everything he does is in the first three quarters of the game. In round two, we have the Orlando Magic up against the Philadelphia 76ers. He had kind of an off series, you know what I mean? Like he didn't score too much. He only scored 40 points a game with 20 rebounds and 20 assists. Off day for him is still a sweep for the Magic. They sweep once again the 76ers and now they're moving on to the third round. In the third round, they sweep the Miami Heat now. The Magic sweep the Heat and the Hulk scores 40 points 23 rebounds and 12 assists a game. Dude was on light work. He's on cruise control right now. No team can keep up with him, and he's just chilling, coasting through the postseason. And in the final round of the playoffs, our man Hulk averages 40 points, 17 rebounds, and 14 assists a game with four steals and three blocks up against the Utah Jazz in what was another playoff sweep. And he is your finals MVP. That concludes the Hawks' rookie year in the NBA. He did everything you would expect. Yeah, just about everything you would expect out of a 1,000 overall 8-foot point guard. But that's it for me. Thank you guys for watching. If you're not subscribed, be sure to hit that sub button because this is the only place you can get content like this. And I will see you in my next one. Peace.